So, now that we've learned about gravity in lecture, we want to see how that equation that we learned about actually works. So we learned that the force of gravity equation is capital G, big M, little m, over r squared. And we want to make sure that we know what each of those different pieces mean. So the F here refers to the force of gravity. So how much of a force is being experienced as a sort of attractive pull force between those two masses. The capital G is the universal constant for gravity. And we won't ever have to memorize what that number is, but in the standard units that astronomers use, it's 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. It makes that force very, very small unless we are talking about large objects like planets or moons or even stars. The large M here refers to what we'll say is the bigger mass. So if we think about the Earth and the Moon like we will in just a second, the big mass would be referring to the Earth's mass. Now our little m is the smaller mass, the Moon's mass in the example that we'll see, and then r is the distance between those two masses. two masses. So the only thing that we need for gravity to be in effect is for two masses to exist somewhere in the universe, some distance apart from one another. So let's think about the Earth-Moon system. So here's Earth, and then all the way out to the Moon, not to scale. When we talk about the distance, we're talking about the center of the Earth, all the way to the center of the moon. And we want to think about what changes we could make to the Earth-Moon system that would affect the force of gravity the most. So let's think of a couple possibilities. So the first one is that we could make the Earth half as massive. we could take away half the mass of the Earth. So that's one change that we could make to it. We could also make the Moon have half of its mass. And then the next thing that we could do to make that force of gravity smaller so we can take away mass from the Earth, we could take away mass from the Moon, or we could separate them and make them twice as far away from one another. So we could make the distance twice as big. Okay, so we're gonna think about how each one of those affects the force. But right now I want you to think about which one you think is going to affect the, the force the most, or if they're all going to affect the force the same amount. So however much time you need to think, go ahead and pause the video here and see which one you think is going to make the most effect. And then once you've got your video, uh, once you've got your idea, then you can unpause the video. Okay, so hopefully you're paused. All right, so let's see how each one of these works. So if we're making the Earth half as massive, then we're saying, okay, instead of the big M that we had, we're going to say it's only half the mass that it used to be. And so we can take our equation, get rid of that original mass, whatever it was, and replace it with two times Oh, one half that big mass. Now when we look, what we get out of that is one half of what we used to have before. So all we've done is made the force half as big as it was. So when we make the Earth half as massive, 
the force is half as strong. All right. So what happens if instead of that change, we make the moon have half of its mass? We would be affecting the little mass m. And so if we go back to our original equation, we could put the Earth's original large mass. But now, we're going to say that the moon is only half of that little m. And yet, look what we have. We have 1 half times g, big M, little m, over r squared. And so yet again, we've made the force half as strong. Okay. So then our big question is, is the distance between the two objects, is that also going to make the force half as strong? So let's start back over again. And let's think, okay, let's put the moon's mass back in, but now, so the moon's mass, but if we're trying to make the distance twice as big, we're saying that instead of r, we want 2r. We want to make these things twice as far apart from one another as they were before. And so we say, okay, 2r, but we look back at our equation and we realize there's got to be that squared there still. And so let's think about now what happens. So we take big G, big M, over little m, the top stays the same, but now this squared is 2 squared becomes 4, and then r squared becomes r squared again. And so we have this 4 on the bottom, and what we've done is the force is 1 fourth as strong. The force is one fourth as strong. And so when we're trying to think about which one of these would make the most change, it's going to be C. That's the one that will affect the force the most. And the reason for that is because of this squared factor here, and that's one of the most important parts of the force of gravity equation. All right, I'll leave this up as the uh, final thing that you can see in the video. That way, if you want to copy anything down, you certainly can. And I'll see you in the next Deeper Look video.